Hey, Melissa Lucia. Let's do this weekly Oracle of Initiation reading. Let's do it. Let's do it. So here's how we play here. Ooh, we have an escapee. Um, today there's three items. Oh, and the book just wanted to go fly away. So, let's see if I can hold them all. There's three items. Choose which one. Intuitively, let your spidey senses see which reading you need that you don't know that you need. So you're choosing this one. This one. Okay, what do each of these mean today? You've chosen, yeah? Yeah, good. So three cards. So this, this one is that you're seeing something in your life more negatively than it actually is. Like it's actually an opportunity. So we'll see what the Oracle of Initiation card says with that. This card you're being a bit overly optimistic. Like there's some magical thinking happening about something that a little bit more of a reality check is needed. And this is like the merging in between. This is where the, the non-duality, where you're both seeing things realistically, but not going into a um, drama spiral of globalization of we're effed. So... If you chose this one, this is the seeing things maybe a little more harshly or fearfully than is actually what's happening or what the opportunities could be. So seven awakening. This is Kalima. So this is the East Indian uh, one who will cut away what no longer serves you. All of those arms with all of those tools. And so how do you deal with the monkey mind and what tools and opportunities do you make for yourself to nourish yourself and give yourself what you need so that you are able to ride the waves of what's happening without going into an, oh my God, oh my God. I find for myself, um, moving my body enough, which sometimes I don't do, um, walking, going outside, that's really a main thing for me, um, being connected to my close friends. That really helps me. Always doing creativity, but the walking and the movement for me is huge. So what do you need to be um, not go into the negative so much? Okay, this one. We're a little overly optimistic. Maybe some magical thinking. I know I've done a certain amount of magical thinking in my life. I never look at the cards before, so I'm reading them right now fresh for you. 57 Visionary. This is the gateway of unity. This is the last realm in the Oracle of Initiation. You know, it's linear in the deck because we're on the earth plane, but it's all a great spiral. And this is about when there's been so much integration that's happened that you are able to really be this balanced, radiant, resourced being. This is like a major arcana card that says this is a big deal in your life. So how could that fit with, how did I say it? Um, maybe being overly optimistic. I'd say it's spiritual bypassing. That would be the concern with this is, um, I know sometimes with my business, I've spent on things because I've said, well, it's for my business. And it really wasn't a wise decision to spend the money on that. It's just, I really wanted to do it, whatever it was. And it didn't always make sense. And so is there something that you're doing where where you're doing a bit of a, um, what's the word that I want to use? You're, you're fooling yourself and a part of you knows it. I think I didn't know it back then, to be honest. I was just like, of course, it's, it's that do what you love and the money will follow. That's not actually true. There's a lot of reasons that, that income comes to things and you could be making things that are amazing, but that sweet spot where the market wants what you have to offer and it's at the price that they want to pay for it, that's some logic with magic. So anyway, the final one, this one is some level of mastery, um, 30 connection. So this is, um, this is Coca Pelli. 
This is the storyteller, the traveler, the one who seeds the stories when he travels, impregnates the village girls, the Pueblo girls with, um, with stories and visions, and I would say passions. So how is your passion and your seeing the world in a mythopoetic way allowing you to balance and ride between the, oh my God, the world is not falling apart again, and oh, I'm totally fine. Everything is perfect. I'm spiritually perfect. Like what's the balance between those two? Um, and that's the, that's the, um, the traveling in your soul, in your spirit, in your imagination, um, storyteller and cedar of the mythopoetic ways. Melissa Lucia, Oracle of Initiation reading. Ciao.